Thank you, everybody, for joining my presentation about our new CAS 140D infrared spectrometer. It's a high resolution spectrometer, but before I get into the details, I just want to show you some of the applications behind, which can be found uh, both in mobile devices like flood illumination, in cell phones like AR, VR, eye tracking, but also automotive applications, LIDAR applications, for example, or medical stuff like blood glucose measurements or body hydration. Instrument systems not only build these measurement instruments, the spectrometers, also camera systems, but one of our core competencies is also the calibration of these instruments. So all our instruments are absolutely calibrated and they are traceably calibrated, um, traceable towards standard given by a national institute, uh, like in Germany, the PTB, for example, or the NIST Institute. Not only do we calibrate our instruments, but also um, we do an outgoing quality control with standard audit sources. We are manufacturing ourselves and calibrating as well. And we do sell these audit sources also to our customers. So also the customer during the production process in the fab can ensure um, traceability and maintaining the error budget. Our uh, lab here in Germany is accredited to ISO 7025, and we do have a large service network in Asia in order to be uh, in direct and close contact also locally with manufacturers there. So um, about these audit sources, something a little closer. Um, these need to resemble the DUT of the customer as close as possible. So for infrared, we're not only having one, we're having six different wavelengths in order to really match the wavelength of the customer DOT. These are highly stable infrared sources based on LEDs. They are burned in, those, so they have a stable light output, which is stored in the ACS, which the customer can then use to monitor the um, stability of the measuring instrument of the uh, spectrometer. Um, and of course, you also need an insured driving current with it. This is provided by, by the ACU power unit, also manufactured by instrument systems. And now finally, let's come to the spectrometer itself. It's a new um, a high precision instrument with an INGAS sensor, 512 pixels resolution, resulting in nine nanometer resolution um, with a good high sensitivity, low noise and dark current. It's terminally stabilized to a minus 10 degrees, ensuring this dark current. And it has a really fast electronics for fast readouts, which results in also increased productivity and throughput. Compared to the predecessor, the CAS 140CT, we have improved the spectrograph design um, to have less optical artifacts, like less inner reflections and increased repeatability. So if you look, um, on the bottom right, you can see a small comparison of the integration times where the predecessor, the 140 CT, was at 10 milliseconds minimum. We are now at a one millisecond minimum integration time. The CAS 140 D series also um, has automatic accessory recognition. So you, if, uh, if you connect, for example, an integrating sphere or some in-coupling optics, it will autom automatically detect what is connected there and will uh, load the correct uh, calibration file, which belongs to this optic, which is uh, stored in the CAS and then automatically retrieved. It comes with an eight position filter wheel, which can be equipped uh, with um, OD filters in order to adjust the customer's need uh, uh, regarded to the DOT powers they want to measure. And of course, it's highly robust uh, with uh, a good shelter against dust, especially in the optical path, you need a good dust protection. And it has a three color status bar to integrate uh, when the device is ready for measurement after warm up. Here you can see a direct comparison regarding sensitivity of the predecessor and the CAS 140D. It's the same device, same uh, settings. And you see that the green line um, has a higher throughput than the red one with the predecessor. And also stray light, where we used a bandpass filter, a high pass filter here, 
um, you can see the uh, reduced light throughput in this region compared to the predecessor as well. So let's come to the summary. Not only instrument systems provides the spectrometers and instruments, but also the calibration and the audit sources for maintaining this calibration. We are um, ISO 70025 accredited lab and the customers of course get really close support if it comes to integration of our um, products in their production lines. Thank you very much for the attention. <laughs>